Hi guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2023. I'm very excited to be sitting here with you today. I have something I would like to share with you. And first of all, that is my coffee pot, okay? <laughs> Making its noise, saying, I'm here, I'm here. It's cold outside today, but I'm not freezing like I was yesterday when I did my video. So anyway, I want to share with you guys a little bit of my writing challenge, okay? I told you in a previous video that I signed up for a five-day writing challenge. It was free. And the lady who runs it, her name is Nadia Colburn. You can find her information at NadiaColburn.com, okay? There might be a link in there where you can sign up for the five-day challenge too, especially when you're trying to get back into your passion of writing. Not only does it include um, like a meditation in the beginning, breath work, but then she reads a poem, like a daily poem, just to inspire your mind to start thinking about things. So after she's done reading the poem, it's up to you to choose whatever word you want and to just free flow. Now, the last time I wrote like this was back in 2016 when I was going through a very hard time, okay? And I didn't know what else to do, so I pulled out my notebook and I just started writing. And it was coming out in riddles and rhymes. It wasn't meant to make sense, but a lot of it does make sense. So I want to share it with you, maybe to encourage you to sign up for the writing challenge yourself or, you know, meditate a little bit in the mornings and sit down and just write free flow. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be right or wrong. Just remember that, okay? So I'd like to just read for you guys a little bit of my five-day writing challenge. So I'm going to jump right in, all right? I hope you enjoy my writing because... I'm rereading it and I'm like, okay, I've got to share this, okay? I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> so my writing challenge day one, I can't remember the poem that they read to inspire this, but this is what came out of me in about five minute writing, nonstop. So I'm going to jump right in. I am peacefully walking along the beachfront, kicking the sand with my toes. The waves crash down upon the feet to remind me that they are there too. I look up for a moment to find the sun slowly going down over the waves. I wonder where it goes when it gets dark. Does it shine for someone else as it does for me? Where is that blessing the daylight brings? It will be back tomorrow, if only for a moment of tiny light shining. My face gives a sigh of relief. I love the sun and the moon and the stars above. What a beautiful feeling they bring to me, magically undone. What to see and smell and be if only I was a sun too. <laughs> I long to be where I'm not to be if only for a moment. I wish upon a star so bright to bring me back home to you. You, the sun, warm my heart, and moon lights my every steps. The stars are the map, the key to my heart. My only one, one of you, is none of me. One, united sea. Three. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> it's not meant to make sense, okay? I'm going to jump right in. This is day two. This is something that I wrote. Again, they start off the video and with a mindful breath work, a little stretching, and then reading a poem. And we're supposed to take a little bit from that poem and then write our own story. So I'm going to just jump in. I hope you're still with me. If you like that, hit the like button. Let me know that you uh, are here still, okay? All right, day two. I speak for the voiceless, the ones who cannot see, the ones who cannot talk togetherness, the blameless and the self-worthlessness beings. I speak for the ones lost in darkness without a glimmer of light to shed. I speak for the antelope, deer, the hawks, and the birds in the sky. I speak when not spoken to within my mind's eye. They can hear my thoughts as though they've taken mine. I speak to the lost and the unfound and the wounded and the scarred beings. I speak to the broken down and scared ones too. 
I hear them speak back to me. Wishing to get through, I speak to the souls and ghosts of the past. I hear their suffering as though it is mine. I take on the hurt, the pain, and the sorrow. You must hang on till tomorrow. I speak to them softly and sweetly and sigh. I will be here for some while. I speak to the darkness as I shine my light through. This is the way out of the darkness too. Follow me, you lost voices. I am here to guide you through. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, it's not supposed to make sense, is it? But it's beautiful. This is why I love sharing. This goes inside my head and uh, really makes one think about their life and their experiences and what it is our hearts are yearning for and what we're trying to say, all right? I'm going to continue if you're okay with that. I really hope that you're still here, guys. Happy New Year again, okay? This is day three. Now, I didn't just sit down and do this all in one day. I waited a day, and then I did two in one. But either way, let me just share this with you. <laughs> day three. The window to my heart is ever so lovely. The kiss of the moonlight touches my soul. Within the blessings of the window's breeze, through the trees of the unknown, unknown to you and breath to me, who will ever know its beauty? Not you, not I, but us. Breathe into me, you moonlit kiss, the songs of yesteryears gone by. If only for a dream of past lives lived, where did you go? My moonlit kiss ever so gently presses against the window pale. Open for me, let me in, please. Don't shut me out. I welcome you in with open arms, my lover and my friend, until we meet again. Memories triggered of the past days gone by, ever so gently warm my heart. I am open at the window for you to enter my life again. I breathe into you my love so true my true soul's breath. Do you hear me, my call, you stubborn fool? Do you know that I am calling you? Come home, my darling, I love you. Now, I can't remember what poem she read for that one, but it was beautiful. It was about the moonlit kiss, okay? I'm just going to keep going. I hope you're okay with that, guys. I hope this inspires you to, to sit down, meditate, and write your own story, okay? And see what comes out. You don't have to be right or wrong. You just have to write. <laughs> this is from day four. Don't go off somewhere else. Don't get lost in the abyss. You are better now than before. Stop beating yourself up at the thoughts of the past. You have the time. You have the rhythm always inside of you. You beautiful creatures of night fall away. You aren't lost. You are found amongst the, wreckage, amongst the wreckage. You lost soul. You are found through the deep waters you find yourself in. Don't stay too long. You must build the bridge back to your home. Don't forget the boat is ready when you realize you are free. You have the power to let go of all the pain and suffering. Don't dwell on illusions, not yours, but mine are slowly unwinding. Until you untie yourself, you beautiful flower, and bloom as, you've, as you're meant to be. I can't talk. <laughs> you are the light that everyone needs. Please hear me, my child. You're beautiful and needed. Don't you fret. You are free to bloom at will. I will carry you. Thank you, my child. I love you. I hope that you understood that. And uh, if not, rewind it and listen to it again. Last one. I just did this, and that's what made me encouraged to come on here and share this with you. I really hope that you enjoy this and am inspired, you know? It's part of my New Year resolution, okay? I'm going to keep doing this stuff every day. It really helps me, as you can tell. I'm smiling from ear to ear. So I just wrote this. 
it was about starting off the sentence with I am offering this and it says put a blank in there okay so she read a poem about a guy who uh, left home wound up going to prison for drug charges or something and spent five years in prison and the only way he was able to get through it was through poetry so his he was inspired by offering something and his offering was writing poetry so anyway, I started it off as, I am offering, okay? So what I wrote here is, I am offering this hope to you. I give you this hope for when you are sad, desolate, and broken. I give this hope to, to you who feel unloved and unwanted. You are not alone in your misery, for hope is here with you. My eyes grow, my eyes glow a beauty yet known to the outer world as of yet. I look to hope to carry me through and out of misery. For hope is for the lost and the broken sides within. For hope is the only thing that is true. I hope for better days for a lightening of my load. I hope for reality of brokenness that the world has bestowed. I look to hope for brighter new beginnings, no matter where I sit today. I look to hope where hope seems lost to some. I am offering my share of hope to you. I love you, my beautiful light. I love you and I know you are all right. I hope to see you. You walk to the light, shining ever so bright. I am proud of you. I love you. It's a little confusing, but it's not meant to make sense. So I hope you guys like this, and Happy New Year. Like, subscribe, and share. Maybe send me something that you've written. You know, it's beautiful. You too can start your own YouTube channel. Just do a video and upload it. That is it. That's how I started five years ago. I just did one, didn't think it was going to go through, but it did. I send love, light, and healing to you guys, okay? Don't give up. Be that light in the darkness. And if someone needs hope, give them hope. If someone needs prayer, give them prayer. Okay? No matter what. Never stop believing in yourself. Okay? I love you. Take care.